And the Spoleto Festival is here and opening ceremonies kick off today. That festival is 17 days and nights at more than nine venues in Charleston. And we have everything you need to know on what you can expect this year. Live Five's Alicia Wimberly joins us now in downtown Charleston at one of the festival's locations. So Alicia, tell us what's going to be revealed there today. Good morning. Katie, it might be dark right now, but imagine this place full of people come this afternoon and this evening. And I've been told to expect music, culture, and pushing the boundaries of what art can be, what art is, and what artists are doing. Today kicks off the 47th season, and everything will be in full swing with about 300 artists making up this year's festivities. American soprano opera singer Nicole Heaston will be singing the national anthem them. Charleston Jazz Academy students will be playing a piece from South African composer Abdullah Ibrahim and a performance from the female drummers of Rwanda will all be on display at the opening ceremonies. Jenny Oilette, Associate Director of Media Relations for the Spolito Festival, uh, says they have more than 100 performances across the 17 days and the prep was easier said than done. There's a magic that happens. Um, the festival makes the city alive. Um, There's so many people around that are creative, that are, you know, here in Charleston, pulling out the creativity from every corner. Uh, encha it's enchanting. Uh, there's magic everywhere. Now, due to inc inclement weather forecast this afternoon, the Spoleto Festival's opening ceremonies will officially be held at Festival Hall at 46 Buthane Street. So rain or shine, the festival will still go on as planned. Now, tickets are available online. You can find those on our website, of course, at live5news.com and click under this web story, as well as another thing called uh, Plan As You Go. It's a new ticket funding that they're doing for the festival. And of course, you can find that online as well. You can also get your tickets in person right here downtown at the Charleston Visitor Center. Reporting live here in downtown, Alicia Wimberly, Live 5 News.